Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Jurassic World Dominion collection from the brand China Glaze. I did get my set from polishpick.com, so in the description box I will link the Polish Pick site, I will link the China Glaze site, I will link the Polish Pick Instagram, I will link the China Glaze Instagram, and then I will link my Instagram where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. I was so stoked to see this collection. My four-year-old is wildly obsessed with dinosaurs. I am wildly obsessed with dinosaurs. So this collection, I might be a little bit biased, hit home hard for me, um, but we do have eight new polishes to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Sandy Scales and this one is a uh, light nude cream. So here's our first coat of Sandy Scales. This one does cover really well here on this first coat. Also, um, this does dry to a matte finish. Did not know that before I did my bottle shots. There were a couple of surprises in this collection for me. So any ridge in your nail is absolutely going to show when this dries fully down. So my nails have that big ridge in them, so it looks absolutely terrible on me. But it does cover completely in two coats, not too thick, doesn't dry too fast either. Up next we have T-Rex Appeal, and this one is a soft powder blue cream. Here's our first coat of T-Rex Appeal. This also had a really smooth, easy to work with formula. I did two coats and it was fully opaque, but for some reason on video, it looked less than opaque. Um, so I don't know what that was all about, but my photos still showed two coats and it did cover completely. This is gonna dry nice and glossy on its own. I recommend top coat, just keep your manicure lasting and protect it. So there are two coats of T-Rex Appeal. Up next we have Olive Terroir and this one is a olive green cream. Here's our first coat of Olive Terroir. This was another surprise for me. Definitely thought this was a cream, but this actually dries to a textured finish. It kind of looks like a pickle when you're all done with your manicure and I am here for it. Again, I did two coats here. I probably should have gone for three, um, but I do think it would have hid the texture some if I did a third coat because even after the second coat, it didn't dry as textured as the first coat. So here it is. I didn't add top coat for my photos and here's what it looked like dried down. Up next we have Preserved in Amber and this one is a kind of marigold colored base and then it's got these large gold flake glitter. Here's our first coat of Preserved in Amber. I love this polish. I think it's so original and so pretty, so sparkly, and the shimmer stands out wonderfully. And I think a good amount of these flakes come out because of these flakes, or I, they're not even really flakes, they're like chunky flake glitter. It is gonna dry with some texture and it will have a tiny bit of resistance upon removal. So there are two coats of Preserved in Amber. Up next we have Orangey Fierce and this one is a pumpkin orange with a gold shimmer. Here's our first coat of Orangey Fierce. This is such a pretty color for summer. Formula was excellent to work with as well. Again, I got full opacity in two coats. If you're super picky and you have a super strong visible nail line, you might need to go in for three of this one. You'll want top coat to finish this off. It does dry glossy all on its own and with no texture, but it will keep your manicure lasting and removal is easy. So there are two coats. Up next we have Let Em Roar and this one is a maroon with a gold shimmer. Here's our first coat of Let Em Roar. This one also has a wonderful formula. Very opaque here on this first coat. Almost a one coater, but not quite there for me. The second coat does deepen the color just a little bit. I didn't have any brush strokes through this shimmer once it was fully dried down. It does dry nice and glossy all on its own. Removal will be easy. Nothing will dry with texture. So there are two coats of Let Em Roar. Up next we have Wrapped Around Your Finger and this one is a deeper green blue base and it's got these larger blue shredded glitter. 
Here's our first coat of Wrapped Around Your Finger. This one is relatively opaque here on this first coat. I did two coats for full opacity and I was happy, but depending on your application preferences and nail line, you might need three. I didn't get a ton of these flakes out. I did go fishing on my second coat for some more um, and I didn't get a ton out, but I do appreciate what was in there. This will dry with some texture because of these larger glitters and removal will be a little bit difficult. It's not as easy as a cream, but it's not as difficult as a glitter. So there are two coats. And lastly for today, we have You Should Know Beta. And this one is a deeper blue um, base. And then it's got this brighter blue shimmer. And then it has these tiny hollow micro glitter. And here's our first coat of You Should Know Beta. This one covers relatively well here on this first coat. I did get full opacity in two coats. A good amount of this glitter comes out and it is all the same size, so it does spread out easily and evenly across the nail. You will want top coat to finish this off. This glitter is gonna dry with some texture, so something on the thicker side and removal will be more difficult. I also didn't have any brush strokes through the shimmer once this one was dry. So there are two coats of You Should Know Beta. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.